here, right on time. A perfect place for her. This clearing will be our stage. And this book will be our dressing room. Let's put on our tray and catch up. You're never gonna bring in a wall. Don't you think of it, Potter? Someone will make fun of the wall. And you're gonna put yourself in plaster, clay, or life stone, or something to come to the wall. Blackbird with its black feathers and its orange and deep. The wren with its clear voice and its small piping bird. Angel makes me flowery bed. The flint, the sparrow in the lawn. The gray canoe with its simple song. That men hear but they don't sing. I love to listen to your voice and I love to look at your voice. I know this is the first time I've seen you, but I can't stop swearing to you that I love you. I think you've got no reason to love me. But to tell you the truth, reason and love have very little things to do with each other in this world. It's too bad some mutual friends of theirs doesn't exist to them. Ha! No, I'm just kidding. You are as wise as you are beautiful. No, that's not true. If I were smart, I would be satisfying myself. Not true either. But if I had the wit to get out of this woods, I would serve my own turn. Don't bother wishing you to see me. Because I'm no ordinary friend. I roll over the summer and I love you. So come with me. And I'll give you fairies as servants. And they'll bring you jewels from the depth of the ocean. And I'll even turn you into spirit, just like us, so you won't die as humans do. Come here, peace, bosom. Cobweb, moth, and mustard seed. It's great! Me too! Me too! Me too! Where should we go? Like them, hit the glow, worms so we can 
care of him. Take him to my sleeping area. Why are you so rude to someone who loves you so much? Say that kind of harsh language for your worst enemy. I'm only scolding you now, but I should treat you much worse. Because I'm afraid you've given me enough reason to curse you. If you killed Alexander while he was asleep, then you better be up in your ankles in blood. You might as well jump into a bloodbath and kill me too. That's how someone who's been murdered should look. And that's how I look. You pierced me to the heart with your cruelty. And yet you, the murderer, look as bright as clear as a star in the sky. What does that have to do with my Lysander? Where is he? Oh good, Dimitrius. Do you find him for me? I would rather feed these scarps to my dogs. Get out, dog! You've driven me into my wit's end. Did you kill him then? From now on, I won't even consider you a human being. Oh, how brave of you! A snake could do what you did. A snake did do it. Because no other snake had a more coarse flying tongue than you have. You're getting all worked up over a misunderstanding. I didn't kill Lysander. As far as I know, he's not even dead. Then please, tell me he's alright. If I told you that, what would I get out of it? The privilege of never seeing me again. And now on, I'm going to leave your despised company. What have you done? You've made a mistake and put the love just on someone else. Someone who was truly really in love. Because of your mistake, someone's true love must have turned bad. Instead of this man's false love being turned into true love. In that case, it must be fake. That's the way of the world. Go around the forest moving faster than the wind. Bring her here with some trick or illusion. I'll put the charm in his eyes for when she comes. I'll go, I'll go, faster than Arrow from Matarta's bow. You purple flower, hit by Cupid's arrow, sink into the pupils of this man's eyes. When he sees the girl, he should love, 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 make her seem as bright to him as the evening star. Young man, when you wake up, if she's nearby, Beg her to cure your love sickness. Why do you think I'm mocking you when I tell you these words? People don't even cry when they're mocking someone. Look, I cried when I swear that I love you. And people who cry while telling someone something, they're telling the truth. Now tell me, am I making fun of you? My tears are proof of my honesty. You're getting trickier and trickier, but this can't be. I've heard this promise already. You said this to Hermia. Are you abandoning her? Because if you try to weigh both of your statements, both are still the same. They're lies. No, no, no. I was out of my mind when I swore to her. And I don't believe you're in your mind right now as you break those promises. But can't you see? Demetrius doesn't love you. He loves Hermia. Oh, goddess. O oh, nymph, perfect divine, O oh, Helena, your eyes are crystal clear. Your lips are as ripe as a pair of tempting cherries touching each other. If you would allow me, let me kiss your hand. It would please me so much. Oh no! I see that both of you are not determined to play joke on me, to humiliate me. Can't you? Can't you be the way you are before? We already know that both of you are competing for Hermia's love. But now, you're here competing to see which one of you will humiliate me first. Well, I guess you can now be called real men making fun of girls until they cry. Stop being so rude, Demetrius. Everyone knows you love Hermia, including me. But it's yours now. But in exchange, Helena will be mine. Whoa! No one ever did so much just to mock someone. Lysander, I love Helena now and I love her forever. Whatever I had for Hermia long ago was only for a short time. You can still have your Hermia. Keep her. Alana, it's not true. One should not insult a love that one can't understand. Or else you'll pay the price. Here comes your love. It's hard to see in the dark, but luckily my hearing sense is more skilled. Where have you been, Lysander? I couldn't see you, but I heard your voice. I found it. 
But why did you leave me alone? Why stay when love tells you to go? But what kind of love can make my Lysander go away? Oh, I had to hurry for I saw my fair Helena who brights up the prettiest heart. Why are you here? Why are you finding me? Can't you see that I don't love you anymore the moment I left you? No! No! This can't be happening! So she's also in this? I just can't! Now the three of you all that this mean trick on me? Hermia, have you conspired with these two men to provoke me with this horrible teasing? Have you forgotten all what we've been through? Do you really want our friendship to end by joining these two men in insulting me? It's not funny! What are you saying? Everything that you said sounds like an insult to me. I'm not even insulting you. Come on, say it! Haven't you sent these two men and told them to do what they did a while ago? I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, go ahead people, just go on with the show. Living or dying will soon take care of everything. Stay lovely, Helena, my fair Helena. Excellent. Darling, please stop insulting her. You know, if Hermia can't stop you, I can. You can't force me. Your threats are no better than her whining. Oh, Helena, I swear that I love you. I can even give my life for you to prove my love for you. No, I love you more than he does. Oh, it sounds like there's going to be a duel, you and me. Fine, let's go. African. No, no. He'll act like he's going to break free from you, Hermia. Just pretend that you're following me, but you're not. Just quit, coward. Would you stop playing on me, okay? Or I'll shake you like a snake. Why well, you gotta be so rude, darling? What happened? Get away, you dark-skinned gypsy, you horrible person. Are you kidding? Of course he is, and so do you. I'm ready to fight you as I promised. I don't trust you. I can't see that you keep your promises. How I wish that we had signed a legal contract. Do you really want me to hurt or kill Hermia? Yes, I do hate her, but I won't hurt her. What could hurt me more than hearing those words from you, Lysander? Why? Aren't you the Hermia and Lysander? Look, I'm still as beautiful as I was a while ago. Can you still love me? Then, then you left me and then you said those words to me? Oh God, help me. Really, Lysander? Really? I already and certainly did. Stop. I spit out already. And my heart is not with you. It's with someone else. Oh no, you trickster! Snake! Thief! What did you sneak in at night and kill my heart's love from me? Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself! You fraud! You puppet! Puppet? Are you talking about the indifference of our height, huh? You just won his heart because you're taller than me. But that doesn't mean that I'm too short to dodge your eyes out of my fingernails. Please, help me! Stop her! Maybe you think that I can take over her because she's shorter than me. But honestly, I can't! Shorter? Stop it, dear Hermia! I only once did something bad to you. Please get me back to Athens peacefully, please! Well then get lost! What's keeping you? My stupid heart! You're leaving it with Lysander? No, with Demetrius. Don't be scared. She won't hurt you anymore. That's right. She might be small, but she can be terrible. Again? Let me get to her! Get lost, you dwarf. You little weed. You scrap acorn. Hey, that's too much. Remember what I told you? You pay for it. Hermia's not holding on to me anymore. If you're brave enough, follow me. Let's fight. Follow you? I will walk by your side. All of this is because of you. Stay right here. I can't believe this is happening. Oh. This is your fault. You make mistakes and cause these kinds of trouble. Believe me, King of Illusions, I did make a mistake. You told me that I can recognize him because he's an Athenian. I then saw this Lysander and do, did what, exactly what you told me to do. You did see Robin with this young man. 
are looking for a lace to fight. I want you to hurry and make the woods darker, for they will be lost and won't run into each other. Imitate Lysander's voice to act Demetrius, then imitate Demetrius' voice to act the other man. In this way, both of them will be exhausted and went off to sleep. Put some of this on Lysander's eyes and everything will be fine, just like a boy except for Demetrius. While you're busy, that, I'll go and ask my queen. I will undo the spell. Where are you, bastard? Demetrius, say something. Over here, we are in the city. Let's fight in a flooded area so that it can be easier. Lysander, where are you? Coward, say something. Are you behind the street? Under the bush? You coward! Yet you're bragging to the stars. Yet they're threatening a bush to fight you? Come over here and fight me like a real man. Are you there? Just follow my boy. It will be a good place to fight. This villain is quicker than I am. I dared follow him like he told me, but he's too fast. Now I'm here, alone, where the ground is not flat. I've just dressed here and find Demetrius when the sun is out. <laughs> you, you are the coward! Face me like a real man! Where are you? Don't change places constantly! But I'm right here! You're just mocking me! It's unfair! Do whatever you wish! I'll rest here for a while! Thank you.